Hello, students. Good evening. Hello, everybody. Are you there? Hello, hello. Hi, good evening. Hello. Hello, guys. Good Welcome. evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Welcome. teacher. Good night. Welcome. It's a pleasure. Welcome to our English class. It's a great chance to be ready and practice. You know, I was like, yeah, just ready. And uh, to, you know, to learn and also improve. That is something interesting. So welcome to everybody to your English class. I hope that we have enjoyed it this, um, this day with different activities in your jobs and things that we have, right? So welcome everyone and we're ready to practice English. So do you practice, do you study? Yes. Okay, so yes, before we start, I need to make sure that, that you remember what we studied yesterday. So what we studied? ¿Qué estudiamos? Tell me, tell me. Presente progresivo. Oh, it, present progressive, right? Yes, we're studying about the present progressive and also we had a, a listening exercise too. So we're going to like continue today as part of the practice because every time in every practice, we have the opportunity to learn. Everything we do, we learn. Uh, use all resources that can be very helpful for us to practice. So that's why it's necessary to, you know, uh, learn new things, not just in the class, but also out of the class too. No solo en la clase, sino que también fuera de la clase también es importante eh, tomar un espacio para practicar, para eh, estudiar, repasar. A veces cosas tan interesantes, eh, por ejemplo, la música, la televisión, you know, uh, reading. So there are great things that we can also have for learning. So are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, let's go. Let's try now. So... We have the first activity and we have a conversation. And also we have a conversation here. Look at this. Uh, in these conversations, we had to answer the following questions. And they are talking about a reunion. And I want you to listen carefully uh, and also try to complete or select the best answer for the listening part. So, I'm going to share with you right now the link. So if you allow me one moment, I will use the chat to share. Look at this. Um, we're going to share this one. One second, please. Okay, uh, look at your chat and you click on it, right? Uh, I have shared it right now. Se los he compartido and I want you to click on it and also go to the listening part. You will listen this conversation twice. And also you had to answer it or complete the statements we have right there. And you had to select the best choice for each one. And, but uh, before everything, what I want you to do is try to understand, try to understand what they are talking about, about vocabulary, about expressions. Quiero que nos enfoquemos en el tratar de entender algo. Si lo entendemos todo, pues, excellent. Um, that's perfect for me. Pero si ha entendido una frase, una oración, es mucho mejor. Porque entonces vamos con ese nivel comprensivo. Ese es uno de los objetivos. Especialmente cuando estamos hasta en inglés. Que estamos en un beginner's one. Que estamos en un uno primer módulo, etc. So the, the, the goal is like try to catch, to understand vocabulary. Okay? Okay. Okay, bien. Le puedo unos minutitos para que lo escuche y lo complete. Así que uh, pour off the microphones and let's go.
Uh, are you ready? Are you ready? No yet? Hello? No. No yet. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, ready now? Not yet. Hello? Uh, do you listen to me? ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Vamos bien? Todavía lo estamos escuchando una vez más. So tell me about it. Sí, yo lo estoy escuchando de nuevo. Okay, perfect. So try. Uh, as I told you, como les digo, Eh, tenemos que enfocarnos bastante en escucharle, poder entender alguna frase, alguna estructura y así se va aprendiendo. So we are learning step by step. We are learning in a process. So that's why it's important to be all the time uh, practicing. Okay, now ready? Okay, so let's try to answer the following, um, you know, exercise we have here. So let me share uh, the first part. And uh, do you remember what's the woman's name according to the conversations? What do you have? Amanda. Yes. All right, so that's the name. Great job. So that's the name mentioned in the conversation, Amanda. So that is the first one. Great job. So look at the number two, and you will help me with that one. Where is the reunion going to be held? Melon Country Club. Uh, I'm sorry, what is the first? Uh, mountain country club. Mountain country club. Yeah, mountain. You say mountain. Yes, in that case, it will be mountain country club. So you say mountain. So look at the look at the chat and look at the chat. Can you see the word? Yes. So the pronunciation is mountain. Mount. Mm. It's like you say, mm, mountain. That's the pronunciation about that. So people say mountain, but in that case, mountain. In American English, that's Mount. mountain, mountain. Mountain, that's the pronunciation. 
So in that case would be Mountain Country Club. Next one, number three. The reunion start at what time? What time does the? Six o'clock. At six o'clock, right? Six o'clock. Okay, great. Okay, six, at six, okay? That's interesting. Next, um, how much do the two tickets cost for the reunion? Reunion, that's the pronunciation about the word. Uh, how much do the tickets? Cuánto cuestan? Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Yes. That's correct. Forty dollars. Okay, and the last one. Uh, you know, the guy feels uncomfortable. The pronunciation is uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. But I see uncomfortable. In, incomodo, uncomfortable, un, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable going to the reunion because what? He. Uh -huh. Because he don't have many friends. Okay, because he didn't have many friends. That's correct. So that is the problem. So he will go to the reunion, but but he doesn't know, you know, too many people. So that's why. That's correct. Oh, he didn't have many friends. Congratulations for that one. Okay, let's go with the second part. And as I told you, we have to all the time practice the, the listening because that can help. Eh, escuchemos, 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 y eso nos va a servir mucho para escuchar el acento, vocabulario. Este, y les pongo el ejemplo de que cuando muchas personas comienzan a, comienzan a estudiar inglés, escuchan y escuchan. Yo en mi caso, yo escuchaba, escuchaba y escuchaba, y a veces pues, había muchas cosas, obviamente, que no entendía. Pero eso le ayuda mucho a, a identificar palabras, a escuchar la pronunciación, e incluso pronunciar palabras que uno no conoce porque ya eso le ayuda muchísimo. So that's why the listening skill is very important. Okay, we have an activity similar to the previous one that we developed in the last class. And you have to complete the following sentences using present continuous tense. Vamos a ver las, cada oración. Y elegimos si es positivo, negativo o pregunta y lo vamos a escribir acá. Yes. Yes. Ok. Les voy a dar unos minutitos para que lo completen y luego lo socializamos en la clase.
do you have a question, questions or doubts, questions, questions or doubts? No? Okay. No. Okay, thanks.
Ok, um, questions. Are we ok? ¿Vamos bien? Yes or not? Yes. Yes, teacher, yes. Ok, perfect. So, you know, to, uh, remember that it's, it's a practice. So we feel free to, you know, to practice. Ok, ¿estamos listos? ¿Are we ready? Yes. Yes. Ok, I was waiting. Yeah. So, let's compare the answers together. So, we can actually um, check here the first one. So, you also can help me to answer uh, the following part of the conversations. Ok, so, my son talk on the phone right now. Ese right now significa ahora mismo. Right now. So, my son is talking. Talking on the phone right now. It's talking on the phone right now. So you can see, well, the example here. Great job. So it's talking on the phone right now. Okay, muy bien. So we complete this one. And the number two is a question. Um, how the number two will be? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Uh, uh, alcanzan, ¿Alcanzan a ver bien la letra o la ven muy pequeña? Are okay? you sleeping? It's ok. ¿Se ve bien? Sí. Sí, ok. Ok, it's, that's ok. Oh, perfect. So, that's good. So, are you sleeping? It's a question. And also, the, the intonation changes. Are you sleeping? No es como que fuera una oración en presente. Ah, you're, are you sleeping? No. Are you sleeping? So the tonal voice changes for the equation. So, are you sleeping? Okay, número tres. Number three, help me with that. Is doing. Is doing. Jason is doing. Uh huh. It's homework. Uh huh. Mm. Jason is doing his homework at the moment. Okay, Jason is doing, doing. 
is doing his homework at the moment. Great job. Muy bien. O sea, que está haciendo su trabajo en el momento. Number four, Tom, Tom, work on a project nowadays. ¿Cómo, eh, nowadays significa hoy en día. Ya vimos palabras claves para el presente continuo. Right now significa ahora mismo. Es decir, el presente continuo lo usamos para hablar acerca de cosas que están pasando en este momento. ¿Sí? Veamos el siguiente ejemplo. Tom is for working. Is working. Tom is working on the projects. Okay, perfect. So, um, so we're just saying it's working. Oh my God, so it doesn't work. Um, it's here, it's working on a project nowadays. Y que decíamos que significa nowadays, hoy, en día, right? So en día. Nowadays is hoy en día. Ya tenemos nowadays, tenemos at the moment, tenemos right now. Right so now. Y, you know, conectores para el presente continuo. Número 5. My kids. My kids. Are playing. Are playing in the garden now. Ok, perfect. Y ahora vemos otra palabra. Ya tenemos right now, ahora mismo, y at the moment, en el momento nowadays, hoy en día, y now, que significa ahora. Entonces, my kids are playing in the garden now. So, they're, they are doing something in the moment. Ellos están haciendo algo en el momento. Number six. Some people are waiting to talk to you. Wait. Okay, people, some people are waiting to talk to you. Algunas personas están esperando hablar contigo. Ok, number seven. My wife. My It's not cooking today. It's not cooking today. Today, ¿qué significa today? Ahora. Hoy. 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 Ahora es now. Nowadays es ahora mismo. At the moment, al momento. Right now. Ahora mismo es right now. Inmediatamente. Y tenemos today que significa hoy. Number eight. Lucas in a study. Lucas. is studying. Is Lucas studying for his exam right now? Es una pregunta. Como es pregunta, va yes. a cambiar el, la posición. Is, this, is Lucas studying for his exam yes. right now? Entonces vamos a ubicar Lucas después del verbo principal, del verbo auxiliar que en este caso sí es. Is Lucas studying for his exam right now? ¿Está Lucas estudiando para el examen ahora mismo? Y la número nueve. Is Brian playing the piano now? Okay. So is Ryan playing the piano now? That's interesting, right? So we can also try this. Y la número 10, number 10, help me with that. Lee and I are playing. Are playing. The fence is today, right? Entonces, hemos completado la estructura. 
look how interesting is this one, right? Uh, preguntas? No. Okay. So, vamos, no. Con, vamos con la parte del speaking. Para eso, vamos a hacerlo de una manera breve. Tenemos una conversation that I want you to practice. Vamos a practicar la siguiente conversación. Y para eso voy a, a grabar esta conversation. Y la vamos a hacer acá. Bueno, lo voy a grabar aquí en el grupo. Eh, demos la palabra WhatsApp, que es como decir, hey, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Así de manera informal. La vamos a aplicar. Hey, Jill, what's up? No much. What are you doing? I'm going to the cafe shop to get a cafe latte. Do you want to come? Sure. I love drinking cafe lattes. Really? How often do you drink coffee? Well, I usually drink coffee every day. How about you? Me too. What coffee shop do you usually go to? I really like Narita's. They have the best espresso. Do you ever drink espresso? I occasionally drink espresso when I order a cafe affogato. Do you like drinking cafe affogatos? Oh yeah, they are awesome. How often do you drink them? I probably drink a cafe affogato once a month. They are really sweet. That's cold. Hey, Jack, what are you doing after we get coffee? I don't have any plans. Why? Do you want to watch a movie? Sure, I love watching movies. Great. Let's go. Les voy a compartir por el, el, el audio, por el WhatsApp, para que ustedes puedan escucharlo y lo puedan practicar. Ahí le dice, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo estás? Eh, no mucho. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Eh, voy a a una cafetería a conseguir un café latte. ¿Quieres venir? Seguro. Eh, me encanta beber café latte. ¿En serio? ¿Y qué a menudo tomas café? Bien, usualmente vemos café todos los días. ¿Y qué acerca de ti? Yo también. Eh, ¿A qué cafetería usualmente vas? Realmente como Norita. Uh, ellos tienen el mejor expreso. ¿Te gusta el, ¿Le gusta beber el expreso? Ocasionalmente bebo expreso cuando ordeno café afogado, que es el nombre. Eh, ¿Te gusta beber café afogado? Oh, sí, son grandiosos. ¿Y qué a menudo bebes los bebes? Probablemente bebo café afogado una vez al mes. Son muy dulces. Eh, está bien. Hey, Jack, eh, ¿qué, y ¿qué vas a hacer después que tomemos café? No tengo ninguno, ningún plan. ¿Por qué? Uh, ¿Te gustaría ver una película? Seguro. Eh, me encanta ver películas. Genial. Vamos. Ok. Vamos a formar de una manera breve eh, unos minutitos para practicar esta conversación. Eh, para, pues, si tiene dudas sobre alguna palabra, puede escuchar el audio y lo volvemos a practicar. ¿Yes? ¿Sí? Ok. Así que formamos los breaker rooms y puede practicar la conversation. Okay, one second. Meanwhile, I just plan also the breaker rooms. Okay, estamos listos? Ready? Yes. Yes. Let's go. Good luck and practice. Let's practice together.
Y de ahí lo hace con la otra del grupo. Yo, yo sería Jack, digamos. Sí. Vaya, me parece. Entonces voy a comenzar. Hey Jill, what's up? Not much. What are you doing? I'm going to the coffee shop to get a cafe latte. Do you want to come? Sure. I love drink coffee late. Really? How often do you drink coffee? Well, I usually drink coffee every day. How about you? Me too. What coffee shop do, do you usually go, go to? I really like neither. They have the best espresso. Do you ever drink espresso? I occasionally drink espresso when I order a cafe affogato. Do you do you like drinking cafe affogato? Oh yeah, they bread a week from. Oh, how often do you drink tea? I probably drink a cafe affogato once a month. They are really sweet. That's cool. Hey, Jack, what are you doing after we get coffee? I don't have any plans. Why? Do you want to watch a movie? Sure. I love watching movies. Great. Let's go. Uh, Miriam? Pueden, pueden practicar una entre ustedes, digo yo, ya que somos tres. Miriam, sí. sí. Eh, empiezo yo y. Vaya, está bien. Ok. Eh, hey, Will, what's up? No much. What are you doing? I'm going to the coffee shop to get a, co a coffee late. Do you want to come? Sure, I love it, drinking coffee late. Really? How often do you drink coffee? Well, I try drinking coffee every day. How about you? Me too. What coffee should I usually go to? I really like Noted. They have it a bed. Express. Do you ever drink express? I occasionally drink espresso when I order a coffee affogato. Do you like drinking coffee affogato? Oh, yes. They assume how often do you drink them? I probably drink a coffee affogato no. on some moment. They are really sweet. Okay, sweet. Stay cool. Hey, hey, hot. What are you doing after get coffee? I don't have any points. Why? Do you want to to the watch movie? Sure, I love watching movie. Great, great. Let's go. Okay. Mm. Ahora si quiere empiece usted y que haga la segunda. David. Vaya. Vaya, me parece. <coughs> hey. Hey. Hey, what's good? Not much. What are you doing? It's going to the coffee to my friend at coffee lane. Do you want to come? Sure. I love drinking coffee lattes. Really? How, how often do you drink coffee? Well, I usually drink coffee every day. How about you? Mm -hmm. Make you one what's coffee to do you usually put put to? I really like Nordi there. They have the best espresso. Do you ever drink espresso? 
Occasionally, occasionally express when when I order coffee. I forgot to do you like drink coffee. I forgot to. Oh yeah, they're awesome. How often do you drink them? I probably drink coffee. I forgot to one 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 month. I had I had split. That's cool. Hey Jack, what are you doing after we get coffee? I I don't have it. A plans with a cafe latte. Do you want to come? In? Sure, I love drinking cafe lattes. Really, of of the you drink coffee? Well, I usually drink coffee every day. What about you? How about me? Me too. What coffee too? Do you usually go to? I really like Norita. They have the best espresso. Do you ever drink espresso? I occasionally drink espresso. We order a cafe. Um, uh, for, for, for gato, do you like drink cafe a for gato? Oh, yeah, they are awesome. How often do you drink them? In prob probably drink a cafe a for gato on among they are. They are really sweet. That's cool. Hey, Jack, what are you doing after we get coffee? And don't have it any planes, we? Do you want to watch some movies? I'm sure and love it, watch the movie. Great, let's go. Ahí estamos. Eh, mi Silvia. Sí. Yo veo que usted quizá ya ha aprendido más antes que está para. ¿Sí? Porque veo que eh, rápido le agarra el hilo. <risa> pues no, en la universidad, me de la. Materia básica. Ah, no por eso. Pero hace un... Pero imagínense que no se lo ha olvidado. Porque... Rápido veo yo. Sí, es que a mí lo que me cuesta es la pronunciación, pero la escritura y, y cuando escucho así bastante siento que capto, pero ya para hablarlo siento que no. La entonación y todo eso ya. Siempre hay cosas. Como no he practicado,
Okay, students, we're going to um, take a short time to verify the attendance list. So you list in your name and you say present. Yes, all the students are out of the class right now. Okay, so listen and you know, present in the attendance list. Ana Claudia Mejia. Ana Claudia Mejia. Eh, Ana Leticia García. Ana Leticia García. Ah. Teacher me mencionó que se me había ido el internet. Ana Claudia. Sí, present. Ok. Ana Leticia García. Camila Alexandra Consuegra. Present. Eh, Damaris Milagro Hernández. Present. David Rafael Ramos. Present. Eh, Diana Marcela Cruz. Diana Marcela Cruz. Eh, Fátima Esmeralda. Fátima Guadalupe. Fátima Saray Hernández Martínez. Present. Eh, Génesis Abigail Hernández Aguilar. Present. Um, Carla Vanessa Sánchez Hidalgo. Present. Catherine Guadalupe Corleto Pérez. Eh, Lady Evelyn Guerrero Pérez. Present. Uh, Melissa Daniela Ángel. Present. Melvin Balmore Cruz. Miguel Alejandro Rodríguez. Miguel Alejandro Rodríguez. Uh, Miriam Mar Maricela Escobar. Present. Nelson Efraín Rivas. Present. Eh, Paola eh, Rosa María Salazar. Rosa. Present. Present. Eh, Silvia Noemi Campos. Present, teacher. Thanks. Teresa Yamiles Martínez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Rosales. Present. Y Yolanda Yamile Andrade. Present. Thanks. Teacher. Hi. Y si tuve problemas para poderme este, conectar con los grupos, a los que usted había hecho, los grupos pequeños. Mm. Ana y Leticia, ¿verdad? Ok. Yo no lo tenía, teacher, no lo pude, no lo pude hacer tampoco. Tengo problemas para, para, ¿Sí? para explicar. Yo digo que quizás es porque no crearon cuenta. Quizás es de crear la cuenta para que les dé como más opciones en Zoom. Ok. Sí, qué raro. Sí, pero bueno, es, es de ver esos, esos detalles. Ok, students. Thank you so much for being here, part of this class. I hope to see you later. And also we conclude this program, and, but you had to continue guys working hard and keep it up working your best. Así que pues, eh, felicidades a todos. Espero que hayamos aprendido porque yo he aprendido mucho. Y espero que sigan adelante. Hay otros módulos también que van, donde van a seguir fortaleciendo más habilidades. Y espero los más adelante eh, siguiendo siempre este programa, ¿ok? Así que un gusto para todos y feliz noche para todos. Gracias, feliz noche. Feliz noche. Gracias, Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye.